Honda has just revealed why there is a very high likelihood it will go bankrupt within the next 10 years. Doesn't look like it's close to that now, does it? I mean, Honda's selling millions of cars. Surely everything's fine. Well, not so if you think you want to be part of the future. The future is going to be very different to now. Look what's already happening in China. Plug-in hybrid sales, hybrid sales are already declining. EV sales skyrocketing this year. We're seeing the future. It's already here. And yet Honda is saying, with a straight face, I mean, this is not a joke, electric cars are not the goal. That's a direct quote. Those uh, one, two, three, four, five, six words. Electric cars are not the goal. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, and I'm all here for I'm all here for the demise of Honda. Demise of Honda. The this might as well be the uh, Honda's funeral. I think they've just basically announced it. Now I know Honda doesn't just make cars. Yeah, maybe you never know. Maybe they'll make other stuff and just not do cars anymore. Because if EVs are not a priority for Honda, then um, yeah, they're going to be left behind. The, the Chinese is just too strong, too good, too powerful. They make such good vehicles, and I don't see what um, if Honda doesn't take that seriously, then they're just simply going to be disrupted. As with many other car manufacturers, Honda has scaled back its EV ambitions significantly. Last year, it said it was going to spend sixty-eight billion for electrification. Now that includes hybrids, by the way. I should add, but it has basically reduced that by thirty percent a few months ago. And let's be honest, what? If you're not in the United States and you can buy a General Motors made Honda EV, if you're in the rest of the world, what Honda EV appeals to you? I don't think there'd be any anywhere outside of the US and the Honda Prologue. There's a few, you know, GM made, but I mean, Honda can't survive as a company contract manufacturing and buying contract manufactured vehicles from General Motors. That's just not going to work, right? So Honda really has nothing. The company. Also, though, say they aimed for purely electric cars to account for only 30% of annual sales by the end of the decade. Now, 30%. This year, we're going to hit 30% globally. So in five years' time, EV sales will be at least 60% worldwide. Honda's market share will fall significantly. So Honda is saying they initially were aiming for 30% by the end of the decade. Now, they've canceled that plan. They're not, they're not serious about electric cars. That's what they're actually saying themselves. In a new statement, Honda made it very clear it doesn't think EVs are a priority. To be clear, this is what Honda said. We stand by our goal to achieve carbon neutrality for all products and corporate activities by 2050. I mean, 2050, that's a long way away. But as the old saying goes, it believes there's more than one way to, um, to make money. Speaking with Drive in Australia, the head of the company said EVs are not the only solution to reducing carbon emissions. Here's what he said. A point I want to make with is that EVs are not the goal. Battery electric vehicles are a pathway to achieving carbon neutral, not necessarily the only pathway. So if they're not, what is he talking about? I think the only thing they can be saying is that Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are the future. If it's not EVs, what else is zero emission? I mean, tell me what else. He goes on to say, EVs will continue to improve. We're working on solid state batteries. But our goal is carbon neutral, not battery electric vehicles. Uh, that's just the obvious pathway in the near to midterm. But we'll develop other technologies that help achieve that as well. We would like that to include electrified fuel cell vehicles when the infrastructure is there. Okay, there you go. Honda's admitting what they've been saying for a while now. They believe the future of the automotive industry is not EVs. And in fact, Japan is, some companies are still saying this. Toyota believes this as well. Toyota and Honda believe the future of the automotive industry is um, hydrogen powered vehicles. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with this? The Honda Clarity, that car cost a lot of money. That was a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, and it was a complete failure. Honda, though, uh, it does have the CRV e fuel cell vehicle, which is a fuel cell vehicle with a twist doubling as a plug-in hybrid, thanks to a rechargeable 17.7 kilowatt hour battery pack that offers 
a staggeringly small 29 miles of electric range. That's a big battery, only providing 29 miles of range. I think that's um, a bit of a disappointing number. It's not a pickup truck, it's just an SUV. Toyota and Hyundai also remain committed to hydrogen, they say, and even BMW plans to launch a fuel cell vehicle in 2028 with help from Toyota. Now, at this point in time, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, both in the trucking industry, particularly though in the passenger car industry, have been a complete failure, and they've been declining for the last few years in a row. By contrast, Stellantis recently abandoned all hydrogen efforts, calling it a niche segment that was basically not going to work. So have other companies recently as well. Japanese brand Toyota believes that um, actually, uh, well, here's what uh, MotorOne.com said, and I believe this is completely false. Toyota believes there's room for even more powertrain diversity. And that's what Toyota keeps saying. But the truth is Toyota have very publicly said they believe that hydrogen by 2040, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles will, will be the majority of the car market worldwide. That's what they have said on a number of different occasions. Uh, they believe that EVs will never make up more than, this is a direct quote from the president of Toyota, they will never make up more than 30% market share worldwide. We're about to hit that by the end of this year. Anyhow, the world's largest automaker is convinced hydrogen burning combustion engines will be an alternative, a legitimate one, that people will want to going all in on EVs, that people will want engines that burn hydrogen. Would you guys want one of those? Let me know in the comments if you would. Together with domestic partners Mazda and Subaru, Toyota are developing carbon neutral engines, that still emit fumes, but anyway, capable of running on liquid hydrogen biofuel and synthetic fuel. Now I should point out, hydrogen is... Well, if you're extremely wealthy, you can afford it. A few years ago, it cost around 12 US dollars per kilo. And now it's around 37 US dollars per kilo. So it's extremely expensive. Now, synthetic fuels have been developed. I mean, Porsche obviously have worked on those, but they cost about six to seven times more than gasoline. Yeah, that's not six to seven dollars more. That's six to seven times more. Hydrogen infrastructure, though, is non-existent in most parts of the world. The elephant in the room remains infrastructure. And this is going to be a big issue. You can't exactly charge your hydrogen-powered vehicle at home. Any type of hydrogen-powered vehicle will be difficult to own, given that there is almost no fueling network. And when there is one, it's terrible. They break down all the time. California is a great example of that. And recently, I believe about 10% of California's hydrogen network actually shut down. Plus, if you were to buy a hydrogen-powered vehicle in California, you can't actually fuel it anywhere else in the United States. According to h2stations.org, only about a thousand refueling stations were operational all around the world as of the end of last year. Since then, a fair few of those have been shut down. Infrastructure for synthetic fuels is practically non-existent with only a few exceptions such as Porsche's pilot plant in Chile. Some would argue that automakers are beating a dead horse with hydrogen and synthetic fuels and that fossil fuel companies who have partnered, well, Shell have partnered with Toyota to build out hydrogen fueling stations, are just trying to make more money out of consumers. But, I mean, others say that EVs are not the answer. Toyota and Honda are two of those companies. One of the most controversial claims from Toyota, Chairman Akio Toyota, in early 2024, he predicted that traditional EVs, as I mentioned before, would never exceed 30% market share worldwide. Never. But um, that's going to change in the very soon future. I think Toyota's investors might be saying to him, uh, mate, what on earth were you talking about? The International Energy Agency, the IEA, reports that conventional electric cars made up more than 20% of global sales in 2024 and are on track to surpass 25% this year. China largely drives this demand. Europe is also making substantial gains. According to the European Automobile Manufacturers Association, EVs accounted for 18% of new car sales in the first half of 2025, up from 14% in the same period last year. 
Speaking of Japan and the Japanese automotive industry predicting that the future of the car industry worldwide would be powered by hydrogen. I mean, even BMW executives making these claims a couple of years ago as well. Seems incredibly naive. I mean, it's true that China is largely driving the automobile industry because last year, 33 million vehicles were sold in China. The entire global industry is about 80 million cars. That means China, well, it's uh, basically accounting for nearly 40% of sales worldwide. Now, if China is already at 55% EV electrification this year, I think the future is pretty much written on the wall. What do you guys think? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.